In this lesson we're going to learn about functions, procedures and subroutines. You can see two different ones below here. DEF welcome would be a procedure. You can tell it's a procedure because there's no return value. A function always returns a value to your main code. Think about it like this. If we're using a series of functions, each of these will have one task. They will return a value to your main code that you can use later on. A procedure, although it only has one task, it doesn't actually send anything back to your work. Subroutines are the main routine of the program. Subroutines quite often are menus and is a general name given to either a function or a procedure. Now you can see here I've used a main. Now the structure that we should be using for subroutines, functions and procedures is they always start with a def. Def stands for define. We then have the name, so in this case def main. We open brackets close the bracket and use a colon. Everything inside that function or procedure or subroutine is then indented to show the program. We have all our functions at the top of our code and then we call the functions from below the code. If we have a series of functions, the main function should be the last function that you make or the last subroutine that you make. Have a look at the structure of this code. Pause the video and then try and figure out what this code does. Now this code, first of all, would print hello. It doesn't run the, the functions or procedures, it goes straight to line 10, where we actually see some code to run, which is the main code. This calls the subroutine main. Remember, this is the one that's going to run all the other programs for us. We then print hello. We then meet line seven. Now this is calling, and this is how we call another function or procedure. You can see here that we have got add five and seven. So we are calling the function, uh, the procedure, sorry, add and sending it to numbers. It's then going to go to line one and actually run this code. So it's going to say def add number one, number two, and then it's going to print these values out for us. It would then return back to the main and would run line eight, but there's nothing there, so the program finishes. Your first task is to go onto Trinket and create a menu system. The menu should call three or four different items and each of those should be procedures. Think about what you might include in the menu, but your menu must keep repeating. The program should never end. Have a think about the structure and how you're going to do this. Now a function is very similar to a procedure. They can also be called. Look at that keyword called. However, the difference between a function is they actually return a value. Let's have a look and create some code. Let's have a look at an example of parameter passing in code. This will be shown in class. Parameter passing refers to any data that is passed to a function or a procedure. This data can then be used by the procedure. Data that is being passed should have a different name and any data can only be used inside that routine. This could then cause something to be returned to the main code. Here is an example of parameter passing. You can see the main code add number one, number two. This is being called after we've inputted two numbers. It's running the function add with those two numbers. But look how different variable names have been used. We should try to keep different variable names so that we, um, we're not getting confused as programmers because they're actually two different variables saved in two different places in memory.
This is parameter passing, passing values to functions or procedures. That we can then do some sort of processing where we add them together and return a value. What do you think the processing would be? Your second challenge can also be found on Trinket. You need to go to the task called Calculator. I want you to create me a calculator program. The first thing you should do is have a subroutine with a menu so that you can add a menu and the user should be able to input two numbers. Now this routine should then call a series of different functions. The first function will add two numbers together, the second function to subtract the two numbers, the third function to multiply the two numbers, and the final one to divide them and return the answers. Each of these functions should not print the answer, however they should return them to the main program. Can you please make sure you add comments and input sanitization to this?